Fala galerinha do canal BJS Games, beleza? Aqui quem tá falando com vocês é o Brunão Estou anunciando a nossa nova parceria com a loja Victory Suplemento, galera É isso aí, ela se encontra na Avenida Cristiano Rostas, número 35, o Bar Centro Isso aí galera, e se você quer seguir a Victory Suplemento nas redes sociais Pesquisa aí no Instagram, Victory Suplementos 2, galera Isso aí, a Victory Suplementos tem suplementos, acessórios e roupa, tudo de qualidade E o mais legal galera galera que o preço é baixo isso aí o preço é muito baixo galera então corre para Victor suplemento falou em proteína falou em Victor suplementos é nós fechadão com a BJS Games valeu Fala galera do canal BJS Games, beleza? Quem tá falando com vocês é Brunão e tô trazendo pra vocês aqui galera a parte 2 da E3 de 2018 galera Como eu prometi vocês que ia trazer a parte 2 dos jogos lançados, então está aí Como eu prometi, eu trouxe Então se você não é inscrito, vai se inscrever, deixa aquele like, compartilhe com o um amigo e bora pro vídeo Vamos lá, tem novidade chegando aí hein So um, we've we've chosen to stick more to the movie universe, but what we loved so much about the book is the way it tells the story. You get a picture of this entire um, war, this period in history, through the eyes of many different people all around it. So we've gone for a similar thing with the game. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so we tell, we have in the release, the initial release, we have uh, three episodes, and each episode deals with a different group of survivors. So there's 12 characters in total in the game. That's fantastic. All playable. And uh, we've got an episode in Moscow, Russia. We've got an episode in Jerusalem, Israel, and an episode in New York City. Oh, that makes me so yeah. excited. I, I'm, I have to explain, I'm so, so excited because, you know, these are, these are, are very, very pivotal moments in the book yes. that take place in the, in exactly. the places you've mentioned. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what you've set yeah. in those locations. Cool, good. Now this game is uh, four player co-op. Yes. And Anytime that... Uh, not just with... The, I mean, when they see you, they'll move towards you the best way they can, but if there's a wall in the way, they'll pyramid up and try and get over the top of each other and, and over the edge. Um, but uh, also, a lot of them, if you shoot them and they collapse in front of you, the ones behind will just trample over the top of them. 
Just so, to get to you. Exactly, just to get to you. And I can tell you, when you're standing there and the only thing you've got is a, a you've run out of primary uh, ammo and you've just got your silenced pistol and you've got 300 <laughs> zombies coming towards you, it's pretty damn scary. Yeah. Well, that's that's going to be me, obviously, because I'm never, I've am i never been very accurate. I've always been a, a, a spray and pray kind of guy. Yeah. But, thankfully, you said there's a myriad of weapon choices, so yes. I can be the heavy guy. Yes, you can. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not well, just the heavy guy. But there's, uh, <laughs> we've got character development, so you've got progression. You, uh, and as you build up experience, you can develop your character. You specialize in a class. You have a skill okay. tree. You've got weapon progression as well, so you're customizing your weapons and building up on that. Um, so there's just so much room for growth in the game. Can you tell us more about the characters that he's player yeah. created, or these uh, specific characters specific. that you've written? Yeah, so we've written these characters. We've put a lot of thought into their backstories. Um, we try what I like so much about the book is uh, there's a lot of normal people who, who survived in the war because of characteristics they already had. We've gone down the same route. So in the New York episode that we're demoing, you've got uh, Arnetta Larkin, who uh, was a uh, she's a woman. She's doing uh, cable rigging for a power company. And she's just trying to get home to her kids to see if they're still alive. We've got um, Tashawn Collins, who is uh, a firefighter, was a firefighter. Got... This will be the plague with which the Lord shall strike all men. We are all that's left of a city beyond redemption. Fulfilling our sacred duty to free the souls of the damned. Got to go up here! Mindset. That should halt. Father, forgive us. We shed this blood in the name of mercy. The army would crush them. But nothing worked. We're all alone. And they just keep coming. In 1977, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. It's there, just around the corner. 
and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. John, like, um, what was what was the inspiration behind this character? Well, a few things. He's he's broken. So you saw from a couple of trailers that we've released that he's lost someone and it scarred him in a way. And it, you know, it's like Jeff would like to say, right. we all everybody loses people, yeah. you know, in these kinds of end of the world scenarios. So what what's particular about Deacon though is that he was an, he was a ex member of an outlaw motorcycle club. And therefore, he has a love of the open road. He has a love of motorcycles. Yeah. There's a sense of brotherhood, and you can see that here in these scenes with him and his best friend, Boozer. Um, and so it was that combination that we really, that really sort of drew us to this particular character. Sure. Right, we're going to continue to learn about him as you're playing the game, correct? About him and his backstory and why he is the way he is. I mean, the bike is very important, right, as well? Like... Yeah, we almost consider the bike to be another character. Yeah because you only get one, and you're constantly upgrading it, you're constantly trying to repair it, you need to keep it refueled, and if you lose it, you gotta go find it, and you, gotta, and you, you, know, you can't whistle for a new one. So, <laughs> you can't yeah, right? Like a horse. <laughs> yeah, the refueling mechanic is a huge game design choice. I really, really like that. Can you talk more about how important it's gonna be to be able to find fuel? Sorry. <laughs> so the refueling mechanic, and actually, you have to find gas to keep your bike going. It's a mechanic we haven't really seen done to this extent before. Can you talk more about that and how it changes the gameplay? Well, like in this demo, one of the things that Jeff, Jeff's taking the run and gun approach. So we, we like to call it um, uh, sandbox combat. So basically what you can do is you can run and gun, you can stealth your way through, and you, your goal here is to get and find a bike part, right? So you're here actually for kind of a trivial reason. You've risked your friend's life to come and get a part for your bike. And so that shows a little bit about Deacon's character. But then as, as you watch Jeff play through, through this wide linear sequence, um, he can play it a hundred different ways. And if you watch other people play, you'll see that, okay, they didn't take this route. They didn't stop and check the trunk of this police car. Um, and those are kind of like our treasure chests throughout the world. So you're always on the lookout for those because that's how you're gonna find ammo and health kits. And then you're seeing one of our stealth mechanics here. If you're quiet, if you, if you crouch walk, and you walk up behind an enemy, then you have the opportunity for a stealth takedown. And what can you tell us about the Freakers? Because they're quite, quite unique. I and mean, we've seen you know, a fair few undead enemies in video games before. What makes the Freakers unique? And what, and what was your decision making behind making them the way they are? They're alive. They're alive. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're not zombies. They're alive. And so that, that, you know, that sounds trivial, but it's not, because it basically means we have a full day-night cycle in the game. Right. And they have, si they have things that they do. They have, there's an ecosystem. And they have to eat, they have to drink, they have to hibernate. And so you will find them, like in, in this scenario, you'll see that there's some nests, and Freakers build nests um, for reasons you discover while you're playing the game. And then you can take those nest zones out in order to free up fast travel routes. Um, so you know, it becomes part of the metagame. But Freakers are evolving. They're living right. creatures who have been affected by this, by this virus. And there's several different types. And some of our trailers you've seen, we've shown the Screamer, which is a female that can have sort of alarm system that will bring in more Freakers. Right. We have uh, the infected bear, so it, it, affect, it affects animals. In our last trailer, we showed the mountain crows, lion and the crow. Right, so yeah. you have, yeah, so the, you know, so it's just, it, it's a wide variety of challenges for the player. And like we said, the world comes for you, and that's part of it is that these creatures are always after you, and at night they're stronger. Yeah. If it starts raining, they become stronger. But we've seen him, I've seen in previous trailers, uh, Deacon actually utilizing the Freakers as a weapon against his enemy as well. So you can actually use them to your advantage as well, as well as the environment itself. 
Yeah, absolutely. We call it the Freako system. So in this scenario, there's not a lot of chance for that. But if he were fighting Marauders or Rippers, right. then he could find a nearby swarm. It's an open world, so you can just explore. You can find other tools like, you know, like a, like a swarm or a Freaker Bear, and you could bring them into an enemy right. camp and watch the, you know, watch the sort of mayhem that, that happens. I guess you've got to be careful, though. You don't get kind of sucked into it. Yeah. <laughs> These are one of the cults in the game. These are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! The bitches, Biker Man. You must be brought low, Biker Man. For you are lost, and we are found. Oh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. So you can see they're not very friendly. No. <laughs> You've talked about having freedom in terms of how you approach missions. So you can you can approach them stealthily, you can go in all guns blazing if you want to. Um, what kind of freedom do you have in terms of the mission structure, in terms of the story? Can you do you get to make story choices in the game, or is it like sort of like a linear narrative path you're gonna be taking? Yeah, there's, there's several key places where you have to choose um, what Deacon is going to do in a key situation. So we, re right. we released a bunch of footage last month, and if you watch carefully, you'll see that there's a moment where Deacon has the choice to take a man's life or to force Boozer to do it. Right. And that will have an impact on Boozer's morale. So your best friend, how he feels about you, how he feels about you. So you tried to think about what has happened in the world. You know, why are we in this post-apocalyptic situation? Like. <laughs> Are you able to reveal like kind of what, what has happened, what has led to this transition? Yeah, you know, it's one of those things that we really want the player to sort of learn as they go. So there are answers, right? Um, but you have to explore. Uh, there's a, you know, we have we we've, we've introduced this group called Nero, which is our national emergency response organization. They're out in the world. They have these MMUs that you're trying to right. um, break into in order to get medical supplies. They, they're part of the story. And, you know, obviously Deacon has lost somebody. We saw that in a trailer. That's part of the story. And as far as, like, the pandemic and the hordes that you run into constantly, th these all sort of weave together to... to Boozer have a run-in with R.I.P. the last couple of days? Why? One of my men escaped a ripper camp that tortured him, like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men. The ripper called them mongrels. You ask me, you got a price on your head. No same as me. Anything that happens here is far better than what's going on out there. Perfect. This is the Overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night. Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Day. Oh, finally! I feared you'd never wake up. Don't you remember? Time to leave the vault! Most of the others have already gone. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. 
You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. Goodbye! Aloha! Ciao! Arrivederci! As you venture out into this new American frontier, some of your fellow survivors may not be neighborly. Chin up there, sport. Not all Vault 76 dwellers will be so hostile. Find them and brave the new world together. Whether you choose to explore the wasteland alone or with friends, your days will be filled with fun activities. towering industrial marvels may no longer stretch to the heavens. What separates man from beast? It is his desire to build. Get started with camps. The construction and assembly mobile platform. Construct your home of the future. With your home secure, you can now craft handmade ordnance at your leisure to give your altercations that personal touch. It falls on you and the ingenuity of your fellows to rebuild the America we hold dear. But don't become too attached too quickly. Monitor your environment for anything out of the ordinary. The home of tomorrow may undergo certain challenges. After a crisis, work with your neighbors to ensure success. There's no I in nuclear wasteland. Document your adventures. Your memories will shape the new American dream. What's that sound? Oh dear. There goes the neighborhood. Comics for peace. When you emerge from the comfort and safety of your vault, the world you know will have changed. Take your friendly old neighbor, Johnny. Rather than coming over to borrow a cup of sugar, he may now be coming over for murder. The time has come to seek out greater means of protection. Nuclear armaments. That's right. Courtesy of your Uncle Sam, these wonders of the atomic age can be found right in your own backyard. But how does a fella like you acquire nuclear weapons, you may ask? Begin by inquiring with the locals. Gently coax them into cooperation. Use a little elbow grease if you have to.
In the likely event you don't acquire a full code on your own, do not give up. Search for others who might be harboring a grudge. You'll have that nuclear launch code in no time. With the power of the atom at your fingertips, be responsible and consider your target carefully. Attention, launch sequence activated. Will your bomb land on a rival camp of degenerates? A random stranger? The local wildlife? Whatever your target may be, take advantage of the resulting fallout to gather rare and valuable resources. Yet these rewards don't come without risk. The fate of this new world is yours to command with the power of the atom. Then fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Ain't no use in diving. What's the use of diving? Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Almost heaven West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me home. When the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. In Vault 76, our future begins. Dum 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 d